Hey everybody, it's Grant, and today's video is about how I lost over 50 pounds, and I went from this guy to the guy you see right here on camera. Now, if you're not struggling with weight or you are, this video is for you because it's about perseverance, it's about dedication, it's about commitment, and overall just letting that time with all those beautiful things just take shape of what you're trying to accomplish. So to start off this journey, I had to get my mindset right. And I wanted to be in shape, but at the same time, I didn't want to do the things that it takes to be in shape. We have a lot of these problems when it comes to our finances, our relationships, uh, our work life. We can do it. That's an absolute truth. But we don't put the work in to accomplish it. And I'll tell you, I fell victim to my ego with this. Not necessarily like, look how great I am, but I would justify myself to be bigger because I did all this other stuff right. And I'm telling you, I even had comments here on the channel that was like, well, if you're so good at you know, getting your mind right and focusing on your goals, why don't you do that on your weight? And honestly, it sucked to hear it, but it was so very true. So after many, many I'm gonna's, I finally decided I'm going to do this. And it started out with just trying to run a little bit more, do a little bit more exercise. And it starts with any great task, like even eating an elephant. How would you do that? One bite at a time. So because I have a busy schedule, I would make sure I woke up very early in the morning. In between 6, 7.30 in the morning, just depends when I alarms start going on. I'm an alarm guy that has seven. So if I woke up at the early one like I did this morning, or I wake up at the later one, I'm still getting up around a healthy time to start my day. I would start with a nice stretch. Oh my gosh. Folks, I was 285 pounds. I should have said that earlier. After I wake up, I like to go have a nice stretch. Folks, when I was 285 pounds or even 278 in those same ranges, my ankles and my legs hurt so incredibly bad. I would get my massage and they would focus in just on my ankles because I was like, please, please make it stop hurting. I don't understand, but do I have arthritis? I got tested for arthritis because I hurt so incredibly bad. Walking around my home, walking at work was not fun for me. And I never once went, I wonder if it's just because I'm a little too heavy. This also got me to adapt stretching. As a young person in basketball and football and baseball and soccer, I was very flexible. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get some flexibility back. It can't hurt. And hopefully it would decrease the, the leg pain I was having. So I started doing more stretches, more and more and more and more stretches. And I tell you, as I got more stretching in, I was able to run a little farther and do a little bit more and lift a little bit more often. And it really helped. So number one thing that I think is very underrated, stretching. After my morning stretch, I would go for a half to a mile run. I was doing this five days a week because I had a goal I had to hit. And if I got it in three days a week, I still felt accomplished. But five days a week was my target goal. And on my calendars that I do my YouTube scheduling, I would write half a mile, one mile. And I was so proud of myself as I would complete those weeks with, with three to five miles. That's a big deal for me. I absolutely detest cardio. And as I started developing this healthy cardio habit, I decided, well, let me kickstart a little bit more uh, with some, some good nutrition. So I started boiling eggs in the morning. I would boil 18 eggs. That way it would last me for three to four days to maybe even five days if I just really didn't feel like having a boiled egg that morning. And it would also kickstart my metabolism just to kind of get it going. And that egg doesn't have a ton of anything besides protein. Another thing that I found was, and duh, but cutting carbs was going to truly help me. And my body responds very swellingly to eating carbs. As soon as I eat some, I literally swell up like a balloon. And I found out that I really enjoy cauliflower if you cook it in fattier meat. So almost like a keto, but still eating chicken breast and having that, that nice juice that you'll make from, from browning the, the meat, doing a, a pork chop, doing a steak, doing a chicken thigh, doing some sausage and gravy. And by putting those in there and putting that cauliflower on there, it was something that I could eat daily and not get tired of it. And once again, be able to find that solid diet routine that was sustainable for me. Now keep in mind, I wasn't practicing for perfection. I was just practicing to be better and better and better. 
when I would go out to eat, I just made smarter choices, not perfect ones. I'd still have a scallop potato that me and Bella would share or me and the buddies would share. I would enjoy it. I'd have a nice clean fish or a cut of meat to where I'm not eating a big pasta. I just made better choices and as I said, not perfect ones. The next biggest and most profound difference I found in my body, not only cutting out carbs, but when I went back to the gym. I will tell you my confidence level in the finance world was great. My business world, amazing. My relationships, decent. I, I did my best. And when it came down to being in the gym, I didn't want to be the chubby guy in the gym. I had once been a guy that was pretty in shape. I worked out my entire life. I've been chubby and fat and in shape about the same amount of times in my life, which is unexcusable. I started putting out some weights at my uh, new house where I have the Muay Thai bag now and I would lift weights in the house, get that nice sweat up, get that nice cardio up. There was no AC in the garage, that even bigger sweat. I would do some legs, I'd do some abs, I'd do some, some just body weight stuff as well as just a couple dumbbells. Literally, it's all it took, a couple dumbbells, a set of 25s, 35s, and 40s. And guys, it had made a huge difference. I started to run to the gym at my house, hit the weights, run and finish my run or just run back. That would be half a mile or a full mile. And I got in really good shape along with my diet. And I absolutely loved what was happening to my body. At this point of this journey, I was down already 30 pounds just from hitting those small dumbbells, making those smarter choices for my diet and making sure I cut out carbs to the best of my ability with not just destroying myself to not have them. If I wanted them, I'd still have them, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat them only and eat them always. My next biggest helper came in the form of laser tag. I know I laugh at myself when I say it, but when we started playing laser tag, I'm telling you, it is literally Mio in your water. It just gives you a little bit more fun to make it that much more enjoyable to do. So if you don't like water and you put some Mio in there and you'll drink it, it's kind of like that with cardio for laser tag. Who wants to go run around for two and a half hours? Nobody. But if you put a assault rifle in your hand and you're shooting your buddies and getting points, that is the best Mio example I can give you. I would go every Wednesday, we would rent it out with all of our employees, we would go and duke it out for who's going to be the best, coming out with three and four and two soaked shirts, can't even talk. And I'm telling you, the pounds really started to drop then because I'm getting that extra cardio in, getting that extra you know, diet going, making sure all this stuff's just clicking and I'm having fun while doing it. And seeing those results in the gym where I'm starting to get that muscle definition. I'm trying to, to get a little bit smaller in my stomach. It just started clicking, folks. And the pounds literally melted away. Another thing that you have to watch out for is falling off of your schedule. If you fall off of your schedule, it's okay, but you got to get back on it as soon as possible. Most of us say, oh, I missed that one day, so I could I could miss tomorrow and then that tomorrow turns into next week and we procrastinate ourselves away from our goals. Huge thing here, folks. Just as I teach you in saving money, if you have a hard time saving that big amount, go down to a small one. You are still chipping away at that overall goal versus going backwards. If I was unable to make it to the gym, but four days in a week, I was still okay with that. And guess what? In that four days, it could have still been a 45 or a 30 minute workout just to get that that nice pump, right? That arm workout in, whatever you had to do to get it done and to stay on that beautiful, beautiful routine. My last huge help in my weight loss journey came in just challenging myself at 32 years old, now 33, in Muay Thai. I have always been pretty good um, in fight sense. I don't really get in many, but I've been in a few and I've never had a problem with that. You know, if somebody does something bad to a, a lady, I'll get between them and I'll say, hey, no, sir, don't do that. If they swing, which has happened a few times, they ended up on the ground just being, you know, submitted. Like, I'm not even a guy that does that stuff, but my instincts in, in fighting have always been pretty decent. I'm not a big, violent person. However, if I need to be, I can. But in Muay Thai, it honed that beautiful sense with challenging me on things I've never done at 33 years old. And it has done so much for my weight loss journey because once again, Mio and water, 
by the time I left Muay Thai on Wednesdays, my shirt is covered in sweat all the way down to it's a different color than I started before. It makes this crazy noise when it hits the ground. And I'm telling you, I have left stronger mentally, stronger physically, and healthier for it. Another thing Muay Thai did was give me an additional goal to keep coming back to get my new belt, to learn that new technique, to master that kick, which I still struggle with to this day. I'm not the most limber person. I'm not a 20 year old person. However, I'm going to keep doing it to the best of my ability until I get it right. One bonus thing that I've done several times and just recently where you guys saw it on my community post. So if you haven't seen it, go check that out. But I've done some juice cleanses. Juice cleanses are great for that temporary weight loss to kind of shock your body and going, hey, we can do this. Let's try this again. Let's try to keep it off. But if you go and finish your juice cleanse and then go eat a bunch of cheeseburgers, which I'm not perfect, I had one today. But if you go and eat the bad stuff, you're gonna put that weight back on and probably more than you had lost in the first place. So it's all about that consistency, that healthy choice, that active lifestyle that is manageable and sustainable for you and your busy lifestyle. At the same time too, let's not make excuses on the reasons on why we can't do it. Let's find the reasons why we can. Let's make that time. I have, I have kids, I have this, I have work. So does everyone else. Why can they do it and not you? It's because they stopped making excuses and started getting some results. And the number one thing I can share with you that will help you in this journey is a solid routine. Grant, I just can't, I don't have enough time in the day. Go to sleep earlier. Grant, I just can't. I, I need you to, to, to tell me how you're doing it because you have all these businesses, all this stuff. Uh, it's probably because you don't have children. Maybe, but I got 10 dogs, so they take up some time as well. Folks, I'm just telling you, no matter what your life is, whatever, what you have going on, you have time. Planet Fitness is $10 a month. No excuse for money. You spend that on coffee at least twice a month or energy drinks, cigarettes, or whatever vice you have. Guess what? A couple dumbbells, probably 100 bucks. Uh, running in your neighborhood, free. You guys have all the tools right at your disposal. Find that routine, figure out what makes it best for you. Find a way to make it sustainable. Go after it. I lost over 53 pounds. I'm coming up on a year of keeping it off, which I can't wait for that. I'll have a video on that as well. I broke my hand doing Muay Thai, and guess what? That took me out for a very long time. It's still a little stiff, but I'm still at it. I'm still losing the weight that I kind of put back on while being hurt, even though I kept off a lot of it. In 12, 14 weeks, you lose a lot of muscle. You lose a lot of definition. And uh, I got videos on that coming as well. So that way we just don't have excuses any way, shape, or form. Get after it. I believe in you. Let's start today. See you later.